Hey everybody, it's me, Libby V, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I accomplished this very simple 10-step makeup look for you guys that you guys can wear to your holiday parties or just out and about Christmas shopping. I wanted to create for you guys something simple and easy to recreate for the holidays with a statement lip so you guys look very festive because I know that some of you guys aren't necessarily into the whole super glammed up makeup unlike me so I wanted to create something for you guys that's easy to wear out so without further ado let's get straight on into the video So I've already moisturized my face and while that sits in, I'm going to go do my brows. So just taking a spoolie as per usual, just combing out dim brow hairs. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown, I'm just going to create some false hair strokes at the front. Then taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, I'm just going to be digging in to the, the deep shade right here to fill in the sparser areas on the top. Now if you have already bold, beautiful brows, <laughs> not me, then you can just lightly fill them in. I, however, am just compensating for what I don't have, and I really love the bold brow look, so I just simulate that for myself, and you can do that too, if you lack in the brow department. So I already went ahead and primed my face, and now we're going to move on to the foundation and concealer, which are steps two and three of this look. Today I'm going to be using my The Ordinary Colors Serum Foundation. Now this one is different from the Coverage Foundation, which I have been previously loving. This one's just a very much more lightweight foundation. And I'm going to be pairing that with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. Now just taking a flat foundation brush, I'm just going to buff that into my skin, giving myself a nice, even but light coverage. We really want this look to be very dewy, soft, and natural. Now I'm just taking a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape on the back of my hand and I'm going to be blending that in with my fingers underneath my eyes and on the high points of my face to create a highlight zone. Just setting those under eyes with a little bit of Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Just so we don't crease. And we're not going to set the rest of the face just because we want a very nice dewy finish to our skin. I'm just going to take whatever is excess on the brush. I know this might look a little funny, but I'm just going to take the brush and whatever is excess, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but <laughs> we're going to roll with it. And step Four is to bronze the face ever so lightly with my Hula Bronzer. 
This is just adding a little bit of warmth and shape to the face because we blocked out all the color with the foundation and concealer. But it's just to warm up the face ever so slightly. We're not making any drastic changes with contour or anything. Step five is to add a little bit of color back to our cheeks. So I'm just taking my Tarte 12 hour blush in party as usual and just applying it to my cheekbones and a little bit on the nose to give us a nice little rosy snow kiss. Now to move on to the eyes. Now we're going super simple with the eyes today. To start off, I'm just going to be taking my Art Deco strobing cream in gold glow and I'm just going to swipe that all over the lid with my finger. Then once again taking the Hoola bronzer and my Morphe R39 brush, I'm just going to define the crease a little bit. Feel free to take a darker shade if you'd like, or even a lighter shade if you'd like. And just buffing that into the crease. Next we're just going to put on a layer of mascara. And on today I'm going to be using my Benefit Roller Lash. And now to glow! For highlight today I'm going to be taking that Art Deco strobing cream once again and just lightly tapping that, sort of acting as an adhesive and an extra layer of glow for the powder. Next, taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, which is just about gone. <laughs> I'm just going to place that on my cheekbones. And finally, the last step, I thought it would be fun to add a deep red or a deep colored lipstick to this look to make it stand out and make it holiday themed. So you could definitely go with a deep berry color, which would look really nice this time of year. Or if you're like me, I always enjoy the classic red. This one is by Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit. However, I do think today I am going to go with the berry shade. I'll just do a quick swatch of the red so you guys can see. It's super pretty, super classic bombshell red. However, I think I'm going to go with the berry shade for today. And to set it all in place to ensure it stays all night at your holiday party, I'm taking the Micro Dot Makeup Fixer with Micro Fine Spray by Moira, and I'm just going to set it all in place. This stuff smells amazing, I'm telling you. And there you have it your simple 10 step makeup holiday look. So guys, this is the completed look. I had so much fun creating this for you guys and making it as 
easy to follow as possible. I hope you guys have a super Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, Happy Holidays, and a very safe New Year. As always, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below or on any of my social medias with the hashtag Coffee on the Couch with Livy or hashtag Beauty by Butler for a chance to be featured in my monthly Q&A. And if you do recreate this, be sure to tag me on Instagram or hashtag it Beauty by Butler so I can see your recreations of it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> My sister is washing the dog downstairs and I can hear him yelping. I swear she is torturing him. Our twin. And my art. Girl, I cannot speak today. Ooh, she loves.